Hi everybody, this is Johannes from Tube Time, and today I'm going to show you how to easily cut out a head from one image and paste it into another with the help of Photoshop. So what you can see now is already the finished image. So the head that I used was actually this one and it came from this image and it looks quite a bit different. So we have some work in Photoshop but not too much. So let's jump right into Photoshop. First of all I have to open my images so I press on my keyboard command plus O and it will open up this dialog where I just choose my pictures that I'm going to use and open them. So let's first of all just press M and make a rough selection. Press on my keyboard command and C to copy that and press command V to paste. This is way too large so I'm going to press command and T and change that and I can also put it to nearly in the right position now. So I press P on my keyboard and now I'm going to create a path. So this path tool is um, very important in Photoshop. You will need to use this very often when it comes to um, selecting something and cutting something out. And I'm just going to make this a little bit rough. So I close my path and now I press on my keyboard command and return to make a selection and then I'm going to press command alt and R to improve my selection. So I can choose this a little bit of this, not too much, just one pixel and then I can press nearly OK. I am now going to create a layer mask down here. And now again I can press command and T to adjust this head a little bit. Maybe I'll turn it a little bit. Okay. And that fits very good I think. So let's now remove the black hair in the background. So I'll click on my background layer. I'll hit S on my keyboard to get my stamp tool. And now I'll hold my Alt key and click here to take these pixels and now I can paint them easily over my hair. Several times I'll take new pixels if I hit command and zero the picture will fit in perfectly. I will now again click on the layer with my head on it and I will now press command and U to take out uh, these much yellows. So I choose yellow and then I drag down the saturation of this so that there's less yellow. That's okay I think. And I'm going to press again command and U to select all of the colors and drag down the saturation again a little bit, but not too much. Minus five is maybe good. Okay. Now I we'll click on the layer mask, zoom in a little bit, and with B on my keyboard I select my brush, make it a little bit bigger, and maybe here 50%. Now I'm going to mask you a little bit, a uh, little bit feathering. I'm now going to add another correction to my layer and I will maybe pull the blacks a little bit. And uh, very important now is that I hold my Alt key and then click between these two layers so this correction will only be added to the layer with my head and now I can work very precisely and maybe add a little bit more black and a little bit more whites so that fits with the rest of the image and also this white pops out very good 
Now I'm going to add a little bit blur to my head. Maybe I can choose 0.2 pixels. That seems to be good. Okay. I will now add a little bit more of that highlight. So as you can see, here was a very harsh light. So um, the whites pop out very nicely. From the moment I can merge my correction with Command and E to the underlying layer. And I'll create a new layer. Blending mode could maybe luminance and then I choose a white color. Choose my brush with B and here a little and now I can paint in these harsh lights everywhere where it is realistically here and maybe some of that here also here and now I can zoom out a little bit and I can feather this again here really a lot ah, so like this and then pull down the opacity the layer and so we got this very nice harsh light effect so we're done with that leave us a comment below what you liked in this video and what not you can always ask us for specific tutorials or videos and we will always answer you i hope we will see you again Thank <laughs> you.